The FIFA World Cup is arguably the most prestigious sporting spectacle in the world, with over half the world's population tuning in to watch the 2018 tournament. A total of 1.12 billion people viewed the 2018 final between France and Croatia. That is 11 times the number of people who normally watch the Super Bowl. Astonishing numbers. But how did we get here? Well, it all started in the year 1904 when FIFA was founded and tried to set up their own tournament. According to historians, that was a failure. But after the success of the 1924 and 1928 footballing tournaments at the Olympics, FIFA and Jules Rimet planned to host and stage their own tournament. Uruguay were chosen as the host of the first World Cup as they were champions from the previous Olympics and were celebrating 100 years of independence. 13th of July 1930, the first World Cup matches were played at the same time, with France beating Mexico 4-1 and USA getting the better of Belgium in a 3-0 victory. This was the only tournament without qualification qualifiers as teams were invited with a deadline for accepting. Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, USA and Mexico entered but only four European countries accepted invitation France, Belgium, Romania and Yugoslavia. French striker Lorenz scored the first ever World Cup goal in the 4-1 win against Mexico. And three days later, Mexico's Manuel Rosa scored the first ever own goal in a 3-0 defeat against Mexico. Manuel was not done with the record books yet. Another three days later, he became the first player to score a penalty kick in a 6-3 defeat against Argentina. Romania took on Peru in the opening match of Group 3. Only 300 spectators watched the game, setting the record for the smallest crowd at a World Cup match. The number of people in the stadium was reduced even further when Peru captain Placido Galindo received the first ever World Cup red card. There was no physical red cards back then, so the official basically said, Do me a favor, please. Get out right, right here, man. USA's partner scored the first World Cup hat trick against Paraguay. Uruguay beat fellow South Americans Argentina 4 2 in the first ever final and were rewarded with the World Cup trophy by Jules Rimet. The trophy was renamed after him in 1946. The 1934 World Cup was awarded to Italy after the first one took place in South America. Italy had to qualify though. Yes, back then, you had to qualify for your own home tournament. This was the first World Cup to include qualification and also the first one not to have any group stage round. It was straight knockout football, extra time and no penalties. If you drew the match, you'd play a replay the very next day. Amigo. Why would we attend a European World Cup when the European countries refused to come to our South American World Cup four years ago? Say champions Uruguay as they declined the chance to defend the title. Uruguay weren't the only ones though. In fact, only Brazil and Argentina traveled from South America. They were joined by Egypt who became the first African country to take part. Only 17 matches were played at the tournament, a record for the fewest matches played at a World Cup. Italy beat Czechoslovakia 2-1 in the 17th and final match of that tournament. They retained the trophy four years later in France, defeating Hungary 4-2 in the final, the first country to retain the World Cup. Let's backtrack a little to the beginning of the 1938 tournament though. Italy and France qualified automatically, the first time the host and title holders both qualified without, well, having to qualify. The rule of champions automatically qualifying was abolished in 2002. The 1938 tournament was the second successful World Cup held in Europe, which annoyed the South Americans even more. Even Argentina had seen enough and didn't bother traveling to France this time. Brazil loved football so much so they took part once again. This was also the last tournament to use a straight knockout format. Sweden picked up the first ever walkover win as their last 16 opponents Austria couldn't take part. Poland's Wilimowski became the first ever player to score four goals in a World Cup match in a 6-5 loss against Brazil. With Italy winning, they became the only country to win the trophy more than once under the same manager, Vittorio Pozzo. Due to World War II, the next two editions were cancelled and the showpiece only returned 12 years later in 1950. Fun fact, during the war, Italian Vice President of FIFA Ottorino Barassi hid the trophy in a shoebox under his bed. Back to South America, we headed for the fourth World Cup. Oh look, British participants have joined for the very first time. Uruguay are back too for the first time since they won it 20 years before. This was the only tournament not to have a final. Instead, the top teams in each group moved to a final round group which Uruguay won after beating Brazil. The hosts had only needed a draw in that match. Due to teams with drawing, Uruguay only ended up playing four games while Brazil played six. Uruguay defeated Brazil 2-1 in their last group 
match. The world was able to watch West Germany win the 1954 tournament as that was the first time it was televised. 140 goals in 26 games, the highest average of any World Cup. A game between Austria and Switzerland contributed to that, a 7-5, the most goals in a World Cup match. There was also 8 hat-tricks scored in that tournament, which is also a record. For the next 11 editions, the hosts alternated between Europe and the Americas to avoid any more boycotting. A certain Pele emerged for the 1958 tournament and contributed to the most entertaining final to date, Brazil 5, Sweden 2. Just Fontaine scored 13 goals for France at that tournament as well, the record for the most goals at a single edition. The Brazilians retained it in Chile in 1962 before England won it controversially in 1966. Or maybe it was just an element of good luck as that was the first time a mascot was at the World Cup. The Fair Play Award was issued for the first time in Mexico 1970 as Brazil became the first nation to win the tournament three times and therefore earned the right to keep the Jules Rimet trophy permanently. Zagallo became the first person to win it as a player and as a manager. A new trophy was designed by Silvia Gazaniga and chosen by FIFA amongst 53 different models. West Germany and Argentina won the next two editions as hosts. Well, this is getting very good, why not make this even more entertaining, thought FIFA ahead of the 1982 World Cup in Spain. Teams were increased from 16 to 24, making it possible for teams from all six confederations to compete. The first ever penalty shootout happened at that World Cup as well, West Germany against France in the semis. The golden boot and the golden ball were awarded for the first time. Italy's Paolo Rossi won both of those awards. His goalkeeper, Dino Zov, became the oldest player to win the World Cup at 40 years, 4 months and 13 days. Oh, did I mention, Hungary put 10 past El Salvador, the biggest win in World Cup history. In 1986, Mexico became the first country to host the World Cup twice, as Colombia pulled out due to economic reasons. Uruguay's Jose Batista was sent off after only 56 seconds in a match against Scotland, the fastest red card. And oh look, we're experiencing the Mexican wave for the first time. Thank you, Mexico. A beat with my head and another beat with the hand of God, said Diego Maradona as he blatantly scored with his hand past Peter Shilton. Well, I guess we'll forgive him as he also found a way to score the goal of the century in the same game. Entertaining stuff. The same can't be said about Italia 90. According to many, the most boring World Cup ever with an average of 2.2 goals per game, the lowest ever. Even the final was so dull that Pedro Monzon got sent off 20 minutes after coming on, the first ever red card in a final. Roger Miller's iconic celebration was probably the only entertaining thing about that tournament. Thankfully, the back pass rule and three points for a win were introduced in the 1994 tournament to encourage attacking football. The edition in USA holds the record for average attendance. A total of 3.5 million spectators attended the matches, incredible as only 52 matches were played. Brazil won their fourth trophy after beating Italy in the first ever penalty shootout in a final. The Golden Glove was awarded for the first time and FIFA thought this is getting even more interesting how about we add even more teams? Boom, 24 became 32 in France 98. Speaking of France, Laurent Blanc scored the first ever golden goal in the round of 16 in a match against Paraguay, on their way to becoming the sixth and final nation to win it as hosts. Four years later, Korea and Japan had the honor of hosting the first tournament outside of Europe and the Americas, as well as the first to jointly host a World Cup. 20 stadiums were used for that tournament, a record. Takis Hakan Sukhoi scored the fastest ever World Cup goal in the third place playoff against host South Korea, netting after only 10.8 seconds. Brazil won their fifth title, this time in Asia, after already achieving it in Europe, South America and North America. The 2006 tournament was the only one without a hat-trick. Instead, everyone turned into a wrestler. The Battle of Nuremberg took place as four players were sent off in a last 16 match between Portugal and Netherlands. 28 red cards were issued across the tournament. A record. This time for Africa. 
South Africa hosted the first ever World Cup on African soil. Their manager, Carlos Alberto Pereira, was coaching at his sixth World Cup with his fifth different country, a record. Spain became the eighth nation to win it and first ever European country to win it outside of Europe. More goal line drama between England and Germany just like in 1966. No goal for that? No problem. Let's introduce goal line technology for the next tournament. The vanishing spray was also used for the first time. The Brazilians wish they would vanish themselves after the historic 7-1 defeat to Germany. 121 players found the score sheet in that tournament, including Miroslav Klose, who set the record with 16 goals at the FIFA World Cup. The 2018 World Cup was the first to use VAR. 11 players scored for Belgium, which is a record. 2022, Qatar became the first Arab country to host the World Cup, and in 2026, Mexico became the first country to host the World Cup three times. And as of now, until the day you see Brazil not participating at a World Cup, they are the only team to feature at every single tournament.